हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू एंड वेलकम टू माई लाइव सेशन अगेन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ओपन ऑफिस डॉक्यूमेंट इंसर्टिंग इमेज इन अ डॉक्यूमेंट इन डिफरेंट वे और यू कैन से इंसर्टिंग इमेज इन द डॉक्यूमेंट एंड वी विल गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम क्वेश्चन आंसर सम एम सी क्यू क्वेश्चन आंसर स्पेशली ओके सो जस्ट मिनट is little bit problem okay i hope you can see my screen and my voice is all okay right if it is all okay please comment me below and if you can see the screen properly just give me a thumbs up okay okay good so let's begin okay so in the last session we have concluded with this question that explain image cropping okay so we have already seen what are different type of image cropping or rather i can say what are the different techniques of image cropping okay here the image crop window will appear or whenever i will take the option for cropping whenever i will click over the picture right click over the picture that i want to crop then i then i have to go to the picture option and this window will appear right and in this window you can see image crop option is there right here is the crop option you can see right there you can see here is the crop option okay so we can have the wrap option as well that is used for text wrap okay and even we can set the border background for the image okay different things are there so this one in the last session i have discussed that is yesterday in the class i have in the session i have discussed this now the next one is number 3 question number 3 that we are having in our lesson okay so what are the different type of different method of image inserting image in a text document so suppose you are having a text document just a minute okay suppose you are having a text document right over here and you want to add one image here another small image over here and here your text will appear like this so along with text wrap you will add the image in the document like this okay so how it will going to happen is what are the three methods you are having or what are the methods you are having so as you know in the previous lessons i have discussed that what are the different methods we can use to add a image in a document right so first one is you can choose from the file option right okay so inserting an image number 1 is from clipboard from clipboard we can add number 2 we can add image in using a scanner a scanner number 3 number 3 we can insert a image using gallery option okay so we can use the gallery for inserting the image so these three are the methods of inserting image into a document like this okay we can use another method uh no there is actually three method only another method is that you can use the picture dialog box to modify any picture from your do word document or for your text document right but these three are the main methods 
by which we can add a picture into a document okay i hope this is understandable or this much is clear to all of you right okay now let's move on to the next part next question is two different things are given over here one is text wrapping and anchoring okay what is text wrapping and what is anchoring two different things are there two terms are there okay first is text wrapping see what is text wrapping text wrapping describes the relationship between graphics and the surrounding text like the uh, in the previous one i have showed you this this picture whenever i have showed you this is the picture suppose this one is a picture and the other lines are text so this is the graphical things this is the graphical thing and the straight lines are the text okay these are the text so text and graphics could be placed with each other like a proper way in a inserting in a proper way and it is having the graphics inside the image uh, inside the text like the text is in the right or uh, in the left hand side and the image is in the left or right hand side like in a corner the image is there in one side the image is there another side the text has been written like this this is called text wrapping okay that is called text wrapping this describe the relationship between the graphics and the surrounding text which is surrounding in the graphic which may wrap around the graphic or one uh, or both side that means it can be one side it can be both side uh be over printed behind or in the front of the graphic like uh, what is the meaning of this iska matlab kya hai be over printed or behind or front in the text that that means it can be over printed or it can be in the front of the text even if it it can be in the front of the text or uh, sorry in the uh, front of the graphic okay or the graphic can be in front of the text okay like the text can be behind the graphic okay it can happen okay students so this is a thing with the text wrap and what is the anchoring anchoring means the graphic reference point this is the main keyword or key point that is graphics reference reference point is preferred to as it that is anchor point this point could be represent the object location that means where the object is located like this is a page page and this is the object into the page so here it there will be a anchor like thing okay it it could be a anchor okay an means anchor so it will actually denotes where the object is located in the page right i can move the anchor and this object will move around with the anchor okay like anchor is the holder of that object like that you can say like that okay object location on the page or in the frame like it can be in the frame also it can be in the page an anchor point is always present in an image always remember our anchor point will be present in an image okay now see this picture window for wrap text this is a whole window for wrap text and here you can see the wrap option is there right the wrap option is there over there and you can see the settings you can see inside the settings none before after parallel throughout and optimal is there see throughout and parallel see in the throughout and parallel you can see throughout option the text is in between the image as well isn't it look at it very carefully so that you can understand it i am making it a little bit bigger 
see the throughout option the text is inside the image also see that these lines are actually denoting the text these lines are actually denoting the text okay and optimal means it will be justified like uh, in in the uh, document we are having a option alignment option called justified so what is done by justified it will leave the space from right and left both side in a similar length or the similar uh, width it will left and it will keep the text in the page okay in uh, it is justified from left side and right side always like that optimal will justify the thing with right and left up and bottom and place the image or place the graphic inside the text like this in a very clean manner i can say like that okay now before and after you can see before the text you can put an image and after the text you can put an image this is after the text you can put the image or the Im image will be first then the text will be after like that okay and parallel means you can put the image inside of the text that means in between of the text you can put an image okay so this this many options are available here now spacing you can choose here with this uh, down arrow and upwards arrow you can choose the space sp spacing option by clicking this arrow it will go to the lower way and by uh, pressing this upward arrow up arrow it will go up to the left and right side okay left right top and bottom we can leave some space to the image okay so after setting all the things we have to click in this ok button and save the things even if if we want to change it i can do this reset okay so <clears throat> this way we can do a text wrapping i hope you have understood students right comment me below if you are watching this live comment me below if you are getting the things or if you are having any query or doubt now i will going to show you how to make a card or how to make a document along with the image okay better to show you a birthday card here in the activity section in your cbse's guidelines or in your cbse's manual whatever uh, you are having as a text format uh, like as a textbook format it is given in the activity that new year card using images and create a poster with the uh, the same the topic will be health and hygiene but i will not do any of this actually i will do you i will make a card with happy birthday invitation or you can say happy birthday wish you can say it okay uh, now let me move on to the open office okay Here it is, open office. Okay. Now, first I will write the text over here in this open office. Then I will go for the image. I will insert an image. Okay. So, for the card, let's say. Wish you a very happy birthday. Okay.
now what what else i can add okay whatever you want to say or you write in your card you can do it okay so may your all wish will be fulfilled Next wishing you a very happy and healthy life. some explanation okay here it is now i have written my text okay now i have to decorate the text so let's say take it go to the format okay how to decorate it i have told you in the previous session we will choose styles and formatting option and go to the character style okay now okay this is not looking very good okay this is good so taking it and making it a little bit bigger actually six okay let it be uh so i will make it a uh, bigger okay so here it is now the next one okay now i will change the color of it actually yeah changing the color let's take this pink one okay now say i want to change this okay so here it is Again, same style. Go down and okay. Illustration. This one is looking good and little bit bigger. Okay, changing the color. With blue, okay, and this one is also this one will be also blue, but I will change the font style or paragraph style. See the changing I am doing over here, okay, blue, right? So here it is, okay. I can apply underline for each of this like it is not looking very good here it is so here is my text ready now i will go to insert the image now i want suppose i want to insert the image in between this Two lines. Wish you a very happy birthday, and may you wish your all fulfilled wish, or may you all your all wish be fulfilled like that. So go to the insert, then take the go to the picture option, <coughs> take the picture from file. Here my file has been opened. Now taking a beautiful flower. Okay, what I will take. Let's take which flower I will take. Okay, let's take this one. Okay. And insert it. Now see the picture is very big. Okay. With the help of this 
green pointers or green headers i will draw i will resize the image actually okay and place it over here okay now see the thing is that whenever i am placing the image the text is actually misplacing it is not in a proper place right so i have to apply the text wrap option right so no need to select it okay now already the image anchor has been came here you can bigger the image as well like this okay uh now setting a background color i want a background okay so just go to the format painter or formatting option go to the styles and formatting okay now this is the page style we are having okay so here if i will click and hit the background okay so just a minute i will apply this okay but first we will do the text wrapping okay <clears throat> so first we will do the text wrapping for that going to picture okay, right click on the picture then open this picture and you can see the wrap option has been came so i will take this wrap like say parallel okay click it okay see how it will came see how the parallel text will came it is not looking very nice isn't it guys so i will take this wrap option you can go for the shortcut also you can see there four four options are there so alignment wrap arrange all these things are there so i will go for the wrap option page wrap okay, it is already page wrap sorry uh now optimal page wrap okay now optimal page wrap will give you a proper page wrapping like or a proper wrapping like this okay now the thing is that it is not looking very good for my text isn't it if it will be a report or something like that it will looks very good on that isn't it now i i can go for the text wrap or else i can skip the text wrap i will not do the text wrap only i can leave the text as it is right it is depend on me that how i will place my text or how i will decorate my document or how i will make the document properly okay that is depending upon your document that which document you are making either you are making a story or you are making a article or you are making a card or some poster kind of thing or else something else right so a newspaper report will be very much different from a card or a poster okay so like this i want to share you some more document and then we will move to our question answer session for today okay so just okay just a minute going here in the file option go to the open option and here already i have some document here is a news report i have already there okay here is a news report like a rare white flower bloom a beautiful surprise for the visitors or tourists in jammu and kashmir okay so here you can see a uh, text is there right so if i want to place a image in between a text say 
inserting an image like this insert then picture go to the picture go to the file and take the image of the flower say this is the flower okay and here you are having the image of the flower now you can change the flowers height and width the pictures height and width definitely okay now you can apply the text wrap option by right click and here optimal page wrap so here you can see how beautiful it is looking or how much proper it is looks like like a newspaper report okay you can say you can crop it more okay you can scale it and you can do it more formatting over here i have not formatted it properly okay the text formats and all are not very proper but you can do it just i have applied the text wrap option to show you how it works okay so you can see it how, how it looks like it is looking very proper or it is looking very prominent isn't it right so this is how we can use our text wrap option with our open office document okay with an image right so here i am saving it and here is your birthday card like this you can make your birthday card or an invitation card also you can make even you can make a poster as well okay right so uh okay uh, as i told telling you background color i can fill the background with some light color like let's say yellow okay so here you can do it like this okay for each and every text you can put some background color like this right red or orange or yellow like this so it will again looks very different right like this can be your invitation or this can this can be your poster highlight can be done also okay right i hope you have understood this one okay now moving to the next part of our session that is the mcq questions okay okay so without wasting the time let's start with the mcq questions see the first question is area where cut and copied image stored is dash what will be the answer comment me below if you are watching my video yes okay so the answer will be clipboard right the answer will be clipboard you can chat me with uh, in the live chat you can use the live chat option or you can comment me below that what will be the answer okay so that you will also have a practice whatever you have learned along with that only i have discussed some question answer over here okay jo bhi aap logo ne padha uska ek revision bhi ho jayega aap logo ko and thoda हम डिस्कस भी कर लेंगे वॉट एवर वी हैव लर्न इन द प्रीवियस सेशन राइट ओके सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यू कैन रिसाइज द इमेज बाय सिलेक्टिंग वन ऑफ द कॉर्नर हैंडल एंड कीप द डैश की प्रेस वाइल ड्रैगिंग द हैंडल टू इट न्यू पोजिशन very carefully see you can resize the image by selecting one of the corner of the handle okay is handle ko use karke aap kya kar sakte ho 
इसको सिलेक्ट करके रीसाइज इमेज को कर सकते हो यू कैन डू द रीसाइजिंग थिंग एंड यू कैन प्रेस इट वाइल यू आर ड्रैगिंग द इमेज इन टू अव पोजिशन ओके ओके तो लेट्स सी द ऑप्शन वॉट आर द ऑप्शन फर्स्ट इज कंट्रोल देन शिफ्ट देन ऑल्ट देन नन ऑफ दिस नन ऑफ द एव ओके तो द राइट आंसर विल बी शिफ्ट so while you are resizing the image you can resize the image by selecting one of the corner handle and keep the shift key pressed while dragging the handle to its new position you can press the shift key on your keyboard and you can move it to a new position keep pressing the shift key and it will be dragged to the new position right next one okay number 3 what is number 3 dash helps to mimic the effect of too much light in a picture a smooth b invert c solarization d remove noise right so what will be the answer helps to mimic the effect of too much light in the picture remember students i have already discussed this type of all the um, what can i say the type of effects of image which effect does which task and i told you that it will comes in the exam okay and this questions are taken from maybe some uh, question bank cbse question bank or cbse sample paper from there i have collected all these questions for you so that you will it will be helpful for you you will uh, um, go for a practice while reading this chapter while studying this one okay so smooth inverse solarization remove noise which one will be the correct answer mimics the effect of too much light in a image or in a picture solarization yes the answer will be solarization okay number 4 number 4 dash makes a picture appear like a painting by reducing the number of colors used okay which one gives you the picture appears like a picture painting by reducing the number of colors used which option or which effect will appear a picture like a painting by reducing the colors or uh reducing the effects of the colors smooth portrayize hyper remove noise which one answer yes remove noise is not the proper answer portrayize is the answer yeah so portrayize is the correct answer okay going to number 5 going back to number 5 dash joins group of pixel into a single area of one color dash will joins group of pixels into a single area of one color number a smooth invert mosaic or remove noise smooth mosaic or invert or remove noise what is saying in the question joins group of pixel into a single area of one color it will be mosaic effect okay okay guys it will be mosaic effect right okay next one okay next answer okay, here all the answers are given previously only no problem just we will discuss one by one next c it will helps to make the image transparent okay 
what will help you to make the image transparent smooth inward transparency or remove noise it is transparency okay it is transparency right number 7 question number 7 moving a little bit faster if you want to ask me something comment me below in the live session if you want to ask something just comment me below okay right okay now going back to the question number seven dash helps to cut the parts of the image without changing the scale of image smooth cropping inward remove noise smooth cropping inward or remove noise the answer will be yes cropping helps to cut off the parts of the image that means whenever i am doing some image we are having some image like this so cropping means the things will be like This is a picture. I want only this part of the picture. So I can remove this much part by cropping and I can have this part only from the main image or from the original image. That is called cropping and that is what helps to cut the parts of image without changing the scale of the image. Okay. Next one is number 8. Number 8 question helps to change the size of the image in a digital document. It will help to change the size of the image. That means suppose this is the image. I can make the image like this. Okay. Without cutting the portions of it. Without cutting any portion of it. Okay. I will reduce the size. Okay. So that that is the Option number C, keep scale, not smooth, inward, see smooth, inward, these are the effects, these are the effects we can apply to an image and keep scale will help you to change the size of the image in a digital document, right? Next, number 9, dash helps to make the image transparent, which will help you to make the image transparent, smooth, inward, transparency or remove. By the help of this word only transparent, you can have the answer transparency, that is option number C is the correct answer, right, option number C is the correct answer, okay, number 10. Dash helps to cut off the parts of the image without changing the scale. Okay, sorry. This question has been repeated just before uh, one slide before we have done this <coughs> one. Okay, so no need to do it. We can say that this is cropping. Okay, without changing the scale of the image. Same question we have done in the question number seven. Okay. So question number 7 and 10 is same. Sorry for that. Okay. Now see this one. This one is number 11. Color toolbar allows us to change which one? RGB that is red, green, blue color components. RGB means red, green, green, blue. Brightness, gamma effect of the image that is also related with some image pixels and image uh, brightness and color things okay gamma effect of the image it will increase the visibility of the image right or all of this actually the answer will be all of this because all these tasks will be done by the color toolbar okay color toolbar will allow 
to do all these tasks. Right? Next one is rotate option available on dash toolbar. Which toolbar rotate option available? In the drawing toolbar, rotate option will available. Okay, in the drawing toolbar, rotate option will available. As I showed you that we cannot do directly rotation from the open office document. We can do this by using the drawing toolbar or by using the drawing, open office drawing. Okay, the open office drawing when we are opening that time we can rotate the image, we can cut and paste the image. Okay, now in the drawing toolbar also if we want we can add the rotate button or we can say the drawing toolbar is having the rotate button. Okay, for that purpose. For rotating the image okay in the previous session we have discussing about this rotating the picture option students if you have not seen the previous classes just go and attend the recorded session it is available on this channel and all other sessions also that is previous session also it will help you to understand how we will work with the open office document this is i am doing the second part that is how to insert an image and how to Use the image in open office document. Okay. The previous part also has been discussed over there. You can go and check the recorded. You can check the recorded session for the previous one. Okay. Okay. Now going for the next thing. That which one of the following is the correct method for opening the picture toolbar. See the picture toolbar can be opened by this view tools picture. Or insert tools picture view toolbar picture insert toolbar picture so this c is the correct option actually this is the correct option view then toolbar then picture not insert tools see in the inside this view only this view tab only toolbar is present so this one will be the correct option inside toolbar there is no option called tools actually Okay, inside toolbar, we are having this picture option, right? We are having this picture option inside the toolbar, right? Last two questions for today, just quickly see, okay? See, in the graphic mode of the picture toolbar, which of the following option is not available? See the, see the question very carefully. Which of the following option is not black and white, watermark, gray style? We can find the options we can find. But this original options is not there. Now this is very important question. One, one of very important question. That is how many resize handle? <coughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Okay. So, how many resize handle will be there around the image? Like, if this is the image, how many resize handle? Whenever I will add the image, you can see some green color. Okay. Let me change the color over here. I hope you can remember that whenever I am uh, using a image, inserting an image, this type of handles or pointers are coming at the edges of the image, right? These are calling resize handles. These are calling resize handles. So, how many handles are present? See, count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7 and 8. 8 will be the right answer. This many handles are present inside a image, around the image, not inside the image, sorry, around the image to resize the image, right? So, around the image, 8 handles will be present. Always you can see this 8 handles are present there, right? So, you can see how specific type of questions are coming 
and how much depth you have to need to learn it properly right okay just a minute okay so you can understand how much properly you have to learn or how much depth you have to learn and how precisely it is asking you that how many resize handles are there if anyone will not notice this if anyone knows this but not notice that how many handles are present then they cannot answer this they may be answer six five eight ten like any anyone can guess this right so that is it for today's session okay so uh, plenty of questions i have discussed today i hope this will be helpful for all of you okay and in the next session we will start a new topic that is how to add a or create a template and how to use a template after creation everything okay so join in the next session that is tomorrow 5 pm 5 15 actually so don't miss it and please like share and subscribe if you like the session thank you Thank mm -hmm. you.